Love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story together. It's not one moment, it's every moment. Big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, traveling the world, getting engaged. It's also a million little moments. These everyday little moments fuse together into one big magical experience. And even though this experience is incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way with love. It's meant to be felt and not described. When Oz met Maria, initially she was just a face in a bar he invented. But I think he knew from the beginning that she was different. As the most underrated band of the century, Popes of Chili Town, once said, <laughs> new faces have a habit of coming and going, but my favourites get to stay. And so she stayed. They fell in love and started their journey together. But what is it about Austin and Maria that make them such a great couple? This might seem obvious, but bear with me. They love each other. I see it whenever I'm with them. They're open and kind to one another. They put each other first before career, money, and all the other stuff that can sometimes get in the way. Maria, I love you. I knew it the minute I met you. You're the embodiment of everything I've ever looked for in another human being. There isn't another soul on this planet who has made me even half the person I am when I'm with you. From the moment you entered my world, you have filled it with life, colour, energy like never before. You are the salsa picante in the great taco of life. Let's jump off the dock into the sea of adventure. I'm forever changed because of who you are and what you mean to me. I love you, very simply, very true. I love you because of your laugh, your tangents, your long pop punk showers on days I'm not in a rush. Most of all, I'm in love with the overwhelming joy, positivity and happiness you bring to every day we're together. My partner in crime, my adventurer, my best friend, you never let me overthink the little things and I'm the best version of myself when I'm with you. I love you, I like you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband this day and forevermore. <laughs> daughter is going to fall in love with and marry. But we're so fortunate that Maria has chosen Austin and we're very, very lucky. And we couldn't be happier that you two are going to spend the rest of your life together. meeting in an underground bar in Notting Hill. Austin worked in music at the time, and the hungry young businesswoman in me originally saw him for one thing, his contacts. 
We went for lunch for the first time and what I initially saw was a business meeting, but to my surprise it turned out to be something else. Sparks flew, kisses were had, and a few more days later we were the most loved up couple in West London. The years that followed have been full of more adventure, support and love I could have ever hoped for, and I honestly can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my favourite person on the planet. I think the moment that I realised that I was going to marry Maria was in Nicaragua. Around 2014, I'd gone into anaphylactic shock after being bitten by some fire ants, which it turns out I am very allergic to. She ended up staying by my side all night. And I look forward to putting adrenaline in my bum if that happens again. <laughs> I love how alike we are and that we're both so interested in the same things, like travel and music. I love that there's no stopping you when you have a goal. I love your sense of adventure and your desire to get out there and experience life. And I can't wait to keep on having loads of fun with my best bud. We've lived together a long time, but I haven't married the woman I want to live with. I've married the woman I can't live without.